So the next thing I want to talk about is deferred lighting a little bit. Now, deferred lighting, in this scene, you're actually seeing about uh, 20 or 30 uh, dynamic lights in each, uh, sorry, uh, deferred lights in each room. So a lot of the times what we do, we like to darken certain areas of the room, um, just so you get uh, e even better ambient occlusion sort of effect. And uh, here's one of the deferred lights that we would use for that. It's a little darkening light that I have in here. Um, what's pretty cool though, is I can just copy this light, and maybe I want to do a little bit more lighting changes within this level here. So now, uh, this isn't very obvious yet, so I'm going to change some values here. Maybe make this a nice green. And like you can see, that's updating on the consoles. So the cool thing about deferred lights is obviously we get some specular and depth into it, so it's not just like a fill light. Um, it's, it's much, much better. Um, as well, we can do uh, texture projection. Texture projection is pretty fun. You can do some really, really funky stuff with them. So let's see what we got here. There we go. This is my... Uh, sort of disco one, and I got this projecting in all directions. So I'm just going to up the radius on this. So you see, I could have it fill the entire room. And again, all this is updating on consoles, and I get this real-time feedback. I can see exactly what I'm doing, so it's really, really nice. So maybe I don't like that texture, maybe I want something, uh, actually, hmm? yeah, the PS3 is. It's okay, I already pulled them. <laughs> All right, so like you can see, this is my disco light, so I am have some fun with it. But there's very real applications for this. I just show a little fun example of uh, texture projection. Uh, one of the ways that we use this, obviously you notice that when I was showing you the time of day, the sun's actually coming from this direction. So there'd be very tricky for me to get a shadow coming off this window. So this is a really nice place that we would use a texture projection like you can see on the ground here. So if I grab this, uh, texture projection light, you can see as I move that around, it actually just kills the illusion for you, but sorry, this is how we do it. Um, obviously, this is a good way for us to get really, really nice lighting conditions on console. Further to that, um, as well with the deferred lights, we use uh, image-based lighting. Um, so image-based lighting basically gives us the ability to have a really, really big light, um, fill the area, but have depth, specular, and color. Um, and this, we actually use uh, a cube map and uh, that applies to everything in the scene. This is a darkening uh, light, but I just want to change the uh, texture here to something a little more bright or uh, obvious. So we can change the entire environment very, very quickly with just a simple, uh, just a simple cube map. So I'm just gonna up the uh, value on that. So if I turn that off and on, you can see it's a very different look. And again, this is, this is minute stuff, but it's really, really important when you're working on interiors. So further to this, um, actually, no, that's it with the fruit lights. Let's not talk about those anymore.